as well. Well, that's uh, uh, not much, just about uh, three billion in total. But that's just a summary of the uh, FGN bonds, uh, some of the top trades for the day, 6.88 billion naira. So one of the biggest news from the market was the acquisition of 60% of Exxon Mobil shares, which is majority shares in Mobile Oil Nigeria. That's the downstream arm of Mobile doing business in Nigeria's oil and gas sector. Uh, that's by a company known as Nipcor Investments. And that's one big news for the market. And we're trying to flesh up on that transaction that was concluded on Monday this week via the Nigerian Stock Exchange and talking to us here live here in the studio to unwrap this deal a little bit further. What it means for the market is the uh, corporate finance uh, team lead at um, Kodros Capital, one of the uh, investment firms that participated in the deal. Osaze Osunde is here with us. Good morning. Good morning, boss. Thank you very much. Uh, very quickly, uh, how does this uh, uh, deal, 90 billion naira, uh, secured? This deal. Uh, the acquisition by Nipco Investments Limited of 60% in Mobile Oil Nigeria serves as a significant breakthrough in our market. We are very aware of the negative sentiments in the market. The ASI has been down over 5%. Um, even the oil and gas index has been down 6%, but it also creates a sense of attractiveness to the sector, to the oil and gas sector, most importantly, the downstream oil and gas sector. And for Nipco as a company, it also... It also is consistent with their, with their growth and their expansion uh, footprint within Nigeria. And you can see that they have huge intentions. And we, we hope that a lot of other companies look at the market, look at the capital market as, as a means to reach out to potential investors. Tell us a little bit more about this NIPCO. It's not among the big seven, as it were. <laughs> uh, so uh, when the name comes in, hey, who is this? Who are the folks at this NIPCO? Uh, there's a NIPCO, a CFB fuel filling stations around. There's right. a NIPCO investment. Right. Uh, on, on, unwrap that company for us. So, so NIPCO, NIPCO Investments Limited is actually a wholly owned subsidiary of NIPCO PLC. NIPCO PLC has been in operation. They initially started under the name IPMAN. So they have been in the market. They have been very, very consistent players in the market, um, a private company. So now the acquisition of, of a, a well-known brand, the mobile brand, which they, intend to, which they intend to maintain, shows very clear intentions um, for Nipco and also shows that they are willing to play on the bigger space. Bigger well, when this space. news hit the market that this was going to take place, how did you, folks who are involved in corporate finance, uh, 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 trade execution, deals execution, uh, 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 latch on to this as, look, this looks like big business. If it's oil money, that's good money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always been a, I've always been a advocate of the oil and gas sector as a very key sector mm. in Nigeria, um, despite the diversification uh, plans for the country, which are also good, but it, it shows the mergers and acquisitions are coming back. It shows the intention of, of a lot of big firms. So mergers and acquisitions, we haven't seen a ticket size of $301 million in a long time. We haven't seen a trade done on the stock market in a single transaction of such a size. So it, it, it's, an, it's an indication of what, what really is to happen. And I hope other players in the market and other players in the oil and gas sector you know, take, a, take note from this. Yeah, well, what does this deal mean for the local stock market? You say, well, we haven't seen $301 million uh, on a single transaction someone put out on the table in a long time. So this is enough money to attract everyone. Uh, as this deal was going on, what other news are we hearing from this space as far as the, uh, those who are outside the market concerned? We have a bit of retailers that are not listed on the market yes. uh, outside um, Eternal Oil, uh, yes. Forty oil, yes. mobile, MIS, corn oil, uh, and the rest. What's the word? What's the, what's the buzzword around? I believe there's a, there's excitement. There's excitement. So um, we see the downstream players. I'm sure most of them will be looking to to follow suit and 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 challenge. You know, we're seeing we're seeing the the IOCs, the international oil companies, leaving the downstream oil and gas sector. You know, following the deregulation by the federal government. It's been a good move and it shows that they need to step up. They know they need to step up. So we'll see a lot of acquisitions, hopefully. That's what our perspective is and we're looking forward to, 
to, to championing more deals. What does this mean, therefore, for the depth and the size of the local market to take big ticket transactions? Do you think we can accommodate someone, a company as big as Shell Petroleum, SPDC, to put it correctly, in the market? I strongly believe we can. I strongly believe the downstream sector is, um, is picking up. Is taking, there's a lot of pace in that market. So a lot of things are happening. Um, I believe, you know, they don't have a choice. I like to say they don't have a choice. And, you know, the, the, downstream, the downstream players mm. need to show that they have the expertise. They have the expertise. And they, with guidance, with the right guidance, I'm sure they will be able to, to take up this opportunity. Uh, the the, the natural question is that, how, where do we go from here? How do we trade the new mobile oil Nigeria, that NIPCO uh, uh, executives, uh, ma new management says, or new owners, majority owners says, yes. look, we're going to rename, and we're going to rebrand. Well, they're going to rename, they're going to rebrand, but the mobile brand still exists. The products will still exist. You will still see the mobile products in the filling stations because the brand has goodwill, has goodwill. You know, it's come a long way over time. It's been managed by the world, the world class oil company, ExxonMobil. So they're passing it into good hands, and I strongly believe that these products will still be in the market. The mobile products will still be in the market, and um, it's, it's, it's good for both parties. It's, it's good, good for, for both, both parties. parties. I mean, our folks are now looking at the share price. Okay, mobile, 315. Uh, the transaction, as at the time it was closed, for that major uh, cross, cross deal was about 300. So it looks like folks are saying, hey, perhaps uh, 315? That looks a lot of money to pay for the share price of one company. Well, soon if I tell you, I think the shareholders <laughs> of Mobile Oil Nigeria should be very happy. Ah. Uh, yes. Yes. That's all I can. <laughs> that's all you, really that's really you can say. say. Yes. Since this deal was being pursued, what's the, and you don't have to give exact number, I, I know what that means, but again, what's the size of bid and offer that you've seen from a uh, big time investor? And from retail investors, who are your clients in Cordial's Capital, who says, look, can you just get about, even if it's just five units or ten, perhaps hundred? Uh, well, of course, of course, without, <laughs> there's been the Porsche, the, the part during the, of the period where we couldn't trade on the stock. So, but other than that, we've got significant interest, of course, from, from our clients because, you know, Cordial's is a, is a huge securities house. So we've had significant interest. Significant interest. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to say how much, but no, that's, that's, that's good no, enough. No, I can't. That's Thanks. good enough disclosure. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you. you very much, Osaze Osunde, who is a corporate uh, finance team lead at Kodros Capital, uh, talking us through the transaction. $301 million, the NIPCO acquisition of 60% majority shares in Exxon Mobil, which was a former majority shareholder in Mobile Oil Nigeria. We'll come back after the break. It's a big day for the IMF and President Buhari's ERGP. That's what we're getting the markets analysts to talk to us all through the next 45 minutes on the program. We'll be right back in two. <laughs>